Hey, I'm Jacob, and I'm going to be your guide around better mode. In this video, we're going to go over the basic functionality within better mode, how to start managing your community, and how to create collections and spaces. So without any further ado, let's jump in. The first thing for you to know is how to manage your community. You could do this by clicking on your profile picture on the top right of the nav bar and going to administration. From here, you can have full control of your community. So let's take a look at the different things you'll find in administration. The first section you're brought to is the people section. And in the people section, you can manage your members and your staff within the community. In the next section, you have content. In the content section, you can manage all of the posts in your community, the spaces in your community, and even the tags in your community. In the next section, we have the design studio. This is where you will manage your spaces and your collections in your community, as well as your header and your sidebar elements. We'll talk more about this later in this video. The next section is appearance. This is where you can update the logos, the themes, the typographies, and the styles of your community to match your branding guidelines. Next is settings. In settings, you'll be able to manage the higher level functionalities of your community, such as whether you want your community to be public or private. Maybe you want to manage your authentication settings, your moderation policies, or even your security and privacy. All of that can be found here in settings. The next is reports. In the reporting section, you can have an overview of what's going on in your entire community. You can also see what's happening with posts, spaces, and even your members. And lastly, we have the app section. This is where you can integrate with various applications that can enhance your community experience. So now that we've taken a quick look around administration, let's go back to our homepage. To do this, we can just click on our logo in the top left-hand corner. Now let's talk about community organization. In better mode, we have collections and spaces. So what is a collection? A collection houses spaces. And a space? A space is where all of your content is going to be shown. Here's an example. Here on the left sidebar, we have a collection called community. And inside this collection, we have various spaces. And as I cycle through them, you can see they all have a completely different look and feel. And this is all thanks to our design studio. So let's go through that now. Do you remember how to get to the design studio? Remember, we have to click on our profile picture in the top nav bar, go to administration, and then go to the third option down, design studio. Today, we're going to focus on the spaces section. So let's click into spaces, and this will show you a list of all of the collections in your community. And if you open these collections up, you'll see all of the spaces that are inside of them. So how do we create a collection? We can go to the bottom of this list and selecting add collection. This will bring up the create a new collection menu where we can assign a name and a description to the collection. So let's call this one new collection. We're gonna give it a description of this is a new collection. And then we can click create. And as you can see, our new collection is already on our left sidebar at the bottom. And it's also showing here in the design studio. Don't worry if you don't like the name or the description of a collection when you first create it. You can edit this at any time by going to the collection, clicking on the three dots and selecting edit collection. This will bring up the edit collection modal and then you can change the name and the description and press update to change it. One of the other things you can do in collections is order the spaces within them. I'm gonna use the community collection here as an example. If I click on the three dots and select organize, I can drag and drop the spaces into a different order. And when I press save, they'll be reflected in both the left sidebar and also inside of this menu inside the design studio. Now that we understand how to utilize collections, now let's focus our attention on spaces. So how do we create a space? We can simply open up the collection and select add space. From here, you'll be brought to a menu where there's various space templates that you can use to speed up the creation of your spaces. As you can see, as we cycle through them, they all have a completely different look and feel to them. Now, 
In this video, I'm going to go with the bottom one, which is discussions. And since I'm happy with this template, I'm just going to click use template in the top right hand corner. This will bring up the create a new space menu where we can sign a name, a description. We can decide some of the basic privacy settings, such as if we want this space to be public or private. By default, this space is private and hidden. So if we toggle off make private, this space is now public. We can also assign this to a collection. Since we press the add space button in new collection, it's automatically assigned the collection to this particular collection. We can change this though at any time by clicking on this section and changing the collection. I'm gonna keep this the same for now. I'm gonna assign a name. We're gonna call this space and I'm not going to add a description. We can talk about that later and update it then. I'm gonna click create and after a few seconds, you will have a new space. And there we go. Now, from here, this is where you would edit the space, but we're gonna talk about that more in the next video. So for now, let's just go back to our homepage by clicking on the logo in the top left-hand corner. And once I refresh the page, you can see that the new space is in this collection. Well, that's your basic overview of better mode. In the next video, we're gonna talk more about the design studio and space customization. I'll see you again in the next video.